world and a happy place. Um, this is session for last Saturday because there was Christmas break, so I'm putting that online on Monday, 28th of December. Um, this uh, in this session, a very playful approach to mixed media collage. And I do say in the video, there are so many approaches that it's impossible to do everything in one session. So I've done a session on one kind of technique, which is paint, collage, and drawing with marker, uh, line drawing. And I can all, always film something um, on a different subject when it comes to mixed media and different approach because it's just so, there are so many different ways you can play with it. So it's very playful. We're working with collage, paint and drawing. Um, I'm going to show you how you create the background, uh, play with images and add uh, drawing. So I'm looking forward to see what you create. Have fun. Okay, let's get started. So this is mixed media collage, and um, when it comes to mixed media, the possibilities are endless. So I think I'm, I will be doing like a separate classes from time to time on different techniques for mixed media collage. Uh, in this session, we are working with acrylic paints. So get some paints, um, collage, which is going to be the image based. So you need some images, maybe from magazines, and black. Uh, marker. If you don't have black marker, you can also use um, um, black oil pastel or charcoal. So this technique is very much about integration of your painted background with the image and a line drawing with your marker or charcoal or pastel. So uh, the main um, principle is not to plan too much. So the first stage is the background with a variety of acrylic paint colors. I'm working on yellow paper. You can work on a piece of cardboard or any paper you have, uh, as long as it, it takes acrylic paint. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to mix different colors of acrylic here in a very spontaneous way without thinking how that's going to be going with the images. I will find out later when I put the images against the background what I can create from that and then there will be addition of drawing to complete the piece. Um, so let's get started with painting and I forgot my brush so bear with me. Okay. Um, I'm not pre-mixing any colors, I'm going to apply them directly on the page and then mix with the brush when they are on the page. This looks like <laughs> there's no much or oh, no paint in that. I believe there is still some. Ah, yeah. It's yellow paper, so I want something contrasting. Going for black. I'm uh, gonna have some very dark Prussian blue. And then I have orange and pink as well but let me just mix those ones you can use different brushes for the colors but you know me I like to just mix it directly I'm gonna grab a little bit of that so that's my green for example from mixing that blue with a bit of yellow uh, you can work with big brushes smaller brush whatever you want or even cards you know old credit cards and just like with it in previous classes spread um, the paint So don't be, be afraid of the contrast, like you see here with the black, that works really well. Because there will be more going on top of that. Be images as well. I'm quite aware I'm working with, I'm planning to work with the black marker. So I don't want too much black because then the, my drawing won't be very visible. So 
sometimes you may want the colors to dry and go with few more layers um, so my pink for example I'm thinking would be good to overlap the black but then if black is dry enough I may have to dry it with acrylic you know the the joy of acrylic is especially if you work with mixed media you can always paint on top of it when it's dry Okay, I do feel like I need just a few areas where I have white. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to dry it first and apply bits of white. And that's my background. And I come back to you when I have that dry with the images ready to go and drawing. This is dry now and we can start playing with images. Uh, you have so many choices here and it's really hard for me to kind of tell you what to do because uh, you have to just play with the images you decide to have on your collage and now you can have an option of having few images on one page and build up with drawing one piece or you can um, cut that into here for example three two parts because I have two I have two separate ones and I think that's what I'm going to do so just going to cut that into two but you know feel free to work on one piece of paper um, and it's about choosing where the images fit you know in terms of the background so this one for example Thing would be really good here because I could draw it looks like she's sitting on some kind of maybe stairs and I could work with the background but let's just play with it you know see different I like that as well could build up I think something here on this side I quite like that what about this that's good as well because I have still plain background here that looks like landscape or rocks. I think I'm actually going to go for that. So you see, it really depends um, what you fancy. This one. I like the orange behind her. She's a bit too tall for that. And I like white as well. And then orange here. I like orange here. Yeah, I like orange here, maybe a wall. So I'm going to play with this one for the purpose of the video. Uh, but you see, I showed you that there are many possibilities. So this is about gluing image to the background and then working with your marker or um, charcoal if you have charcoal. Um, depending of course what you have the main principle is only one principle make sure this is fully dry so when you go with mark on top of it it doesn't ruin your marker I'm just gonna glue that and start building up drawing so in this mixed media you're playing with three um, elements which is the image painted background and line drawing with your marker. Oopsie, it's gone a bit too fast. I'm quite aware this is not glued properly and I'm trying to lift it 
it's not so easy. So I think I'm just gonna go a bit on top. The first trick to unify your artwork with the paint is to outline it if you want, and I will go with that. already bringing up and now it's about playing and you know coming up um imagining somehow or some kind of rocks here suggested by the paint And remember you can go beyond the paint so if you have like here the original paper saying that's good to unify it as well so here i've done like a bit of mountains kind of shape and i just gonna kind of carry on And it's very playful you can just build up all you want um, from the on the top of the paint I'm seeing here a bit like a foilish kind of shape so go with that. And another element is um, adding drawing on top of your image as well, so altering it. Just thinking what I can change here. Just change pattern of her trousers. Okay, hey, play with it, you know, and um, there's the second, so that's the one. And this one again, you know, that could have many possibilities. That could be, uh, I don't know why, but I saw some kind of like war here. And her walking by, having some patterns here with the orange. This is definitely pavement here. And this one could have something around, maybe a hat or something around the head as well. So have a go, play with it.
and have fun. <laughs>